I had a tabletop potter's wheel and, you know, I just fooled around with it. And then in college I took ceramics classes and really enjoyed it. After school I was apprenticed to a potter and, you know, I just really found that clay was my medium. Um, it spoke to me, it was so responsive and receptive and it let me express myself in a way that I wanted to. And, you know, I started as a traditional potter making functional stoneware and, um, you know, and have evolved throughout the years. And I had gone from doing functional stoneware and porcelain um, to working in earthenware for many years, probably like 15 years. I worked in brightly colored, heavily painted and decorated earthenware, and I loved it, but I just got really tired of doing it. And so I, ha I made this decision to try and simplify. And um, so I really pared down, I'm using colored clays. I use a black clay and a white clay. So any, you know, the black that you see, the white that you see is all inherent in the clay body. Um, it's not a glaze, although there is a glaze over it. But I, I made this decision to move onto the wall probably about six years ago. Um, you know, I'm, I'm very struck by the, a strong graphic image. Uh, I love the contrast. I like the space and, and I like the calmness of my work. It actually, um, I'm not a calm person, but it feels pretty calm to me, you know? And um, people tell me that my work is soothing, and I think that that's terrific. You know, I love that. And um, I don't know, I, I like it on the wall. I, I love using it. Over the years, I've not kept a lot of my work, but I do have my dinnerware, and I love using it. Uh, it's, but what I love about this is how I hang them in my booth, I have to show you. And, um, you know, this is just kind of fun, and it's something that I... Hanging them was a real... A real issue five years ago in Baltimore. I, you know, I just couldn't figure it out. And so this is what I've come to. Um, you know, this is how I hang them, and and they're just to me, they're they're really a lot of they're really a lot of fun. You know, this is the first time I decided to travel. Um, first time I've gone anywhere further. You know, anywhere where I had to actually ship my work and get on a plane. This is it, and I'm doing. St. Paul and San Francisco this year. I just yeah, I love talking to um, people about my work. I love seeing their reaction. You know, you know, it's, it's not always a good reaction, but sometimes that can be kind of interesting too. It's um, it's. I think you can't um, you can't hold holds onto your ego so much when you do something like this. I think you just kind of let it go. Or you put it out there. You feel hopefully you feel good about what you're doing and. I, my work has, this group of work has been pretty well received for the most part, I would say generally, you know. And um, so I feel, I feel good about getting back out into the craft show scene. It's